I am excited today because I've been tracking down a Camaro SS for the longest time and today I finally got one. It's a 2020 Chevrolet Camaro SS and it's pretty much loaded. So let's cut through all of the crap and get straight to the review. Good YouTube. This hood is really light. Giddy up! If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you can be alerted of any new uploads that I do and hit the like because it helps the channel to grow. On with the video. So guys, starting off at the front of this car, it could not be more menacing. I mean, the Mustangs look good, but these Camaros just have such a sinister look to them. They look like they're angry. They look like they wanna just punch you in the face all of the time. And I love it. The car could not look any sweeter in my opinion. And this particular car, as you can see, already has tinted windows and it has these aftermarket wheels which look fire. And you can see someone added this SS badge and also this Camaro LT1 badge. So it is a super sharp car. If you can hear any wind, it's a little bit windy so I apologize. And unlike my Camaro that you saw just before I reviewed this one, this model actually has the round tail lights and they come with this little bar in the middle and on some cars they're red and on some cars they're smoked but I actually think that the smoked lights look better than the red ones it kind of uh, blends in better with the car especially this color and this particular SS does have the quad tip exhausts which they are real and they're a good size and they sound amazing because it is the active exhaust which means the exhaust can go quieter and louder trunk size still isn't the best i'll put that on the screen but it is bigger than in my convertible and this one also comes with the badges all blacked out and then you've got the ss badge down here now just looking at the side of the car it does come with a staggered setup when it comes to the wheels. So the front wheels are 245 millimeter, 40, 20, which basically means the 245, if you don't know, is how wide the tire is. The 40 number is how thick the sidewall is. And then the 20 is how big the rim is. So looking at these rims, they are absolutely beautiful. Um, whoever did this car did it right in my opinion with these aftermarket rims but you get the Camaro Brembo brakes I'll put the spec of those on the screen and then if you go to the back wheels you get way more meat so you get these 275 35 20 so they're a lot wider than the tire that comes on the front of the car and that my friends is to give you more traction so let's go ahead and take a look at the monstrous heart of the beast the one thing i don't like is i'm not a fan of this small heat extractor on the older models of the ss you had the heat extractor on the side and i think that that looked a bit more tasteful but it still looks good i'm just being nitpicky here we go this is Chevrolet's 6.2 liter V8. And it is five horsepower down from the Mustang. So it's 455 horsepower, but it's 455 foot pounds of torque instead of 420 like the Mustang is. So these engines are tried and true. They're in um, these Camaros. They put them in the, uh, the old Pontiac G8s. They had them in the Firebirds. I know they're slightly different, but 
pretty much the same thing you know with some tweaks here and there but I'll put all the specs for this on the screen and this car does come with the 10 speed automatic whereas my car comes with an 8 speed automatic which means that with this automatic the car can rocket itself 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds if you can get traction if you can't get traction or if you have a manual it's around 4.1 to 4.2 seconds now the interior because this is premium you do have leather all around here whereas on my car it's plastic and you do get the Bose stereo system and my Camaro just has that plain black Camaro badge whereas this is a nice aluminum looking color and the seats are nice and perforated because they are heated and cooled and they're a nice leather material you do not get as much leg room in this car as you do on the Mustangs but you've probably looked at other Camaro videos before this and you already knew that this particular one too does come with a sunroof and you get the shark fin antenna up there which has the backup camera there and this car as I said it's loaded so you've got the memory seats you've got blind spot monitoring in the wing mirrors and even the steering wheel is heated um, so it's got lots of nice touches to this vehicle now the interior I added a carbon fiber piece to mine here because I did not like the cheapy plastic but as you can see this one has the SS badge you've got a much nicer infotainment screen it's slightly bigger than mine probably by an inch or so it looks a bit more modern and then the dash up here it's got lots of nice features and it has an extra mode that my car does not have so it has tour sport track and snow and ice so with the v8 you do get the track mode which you do not get which obviously changes driving parameters and all that stuff but you only drive a car like this if you're an idiot anyway in the snow and then you've got a couple of usbs down here still got the small cup holders and you've got the 12 volt which should be up there so you can do the you don't have to run a wire all the way from the um from here up there for the radar detector does have apple carplay android auto and all of this stuff is extremely easy to use so no big deal for that and then this car has heated and cooled seats which my car does not have and it has dual climate control which is also another feature that my car does not have so Let's go ahead and take this thing for a spin after a quick exhaust clip. Chevy Camaro SS now I have been driving it already for just about five minutes and I can tell you that the transmission is very smooth so just like the Mustang I believe this particular car actually shares the transmission with the Mustang it's the same 10 speed that um, both GM and Ford use in their vehicle so that's one thing about the car. The other thing is, when I change gear in my uh, Camaro RS, which is the V6, and it comes with the eight speed transmission, the car has a lot more lag to it when you shift gears, a lot more lag. Now this car, when you shift gears manually with the paddles, it shifts extremely quickly. Now. As you can see, like from my video with my car, this does not have the paddle extension, so the paddles are extremely small. Whereas when I um, added the paddles to be larger on my car, 
it just feels much better. You get a much more definite shift and you feel like you've got more control and that you're never going to miss one of the uh, shifts because when you're in a turn and you've got to hit something, it's kind of hard with these small pedals. So that does make a difference and I would probably add those pedals to this car just like I did the uh, my V6 version. But this drives amazing and it was only a few weeks ago when I drove the V8 Mustang um, that was fully loaded and honestly I like the look of this one more because it's just a cleaner look but if you want more of a retro look then probably best to go with the Mustang because that gives you that retro feel so let's get on the gas a little bit. Listen to that V8. Listen to that. <laughs> okay, so key question. Does this car with this V8 sound better than the Mustang V8? I really don't know. It's so tough. I mean, I feel like this car with the V8 sounds better on the outside of the car, but I feel like on the interior of the car, the Mustang sounds better. I don't know if it's just because of the way the engine noise is coming into the cabin, but that's my what I'm saying. So that might seem like a bit of a cop out, but this car sounds better on the outside, especially in track mode, whereas the Mustang sounds better on the inside. And bear in mind, neither the Mustang nor this car could rev all the way up because it, it was limited to about three and a half thousand revs. So it really wasn't getting as loud as what it could have done. Um, and this car only has 5,000 miles on it, so it is pretty much brand new. I mean, 5,000 miles isn't even um, a year's worth of miles yet, so. And one thing I did forget to mention is, this car does have a very clear heads-up display, um, which I like. I think Chevy does an awesome job with that. Um, I don't believe that it's even an option in the Mustangs to have a heads-up display. but. The difference is the Mustang has a very nice dash layout if you get the digital dash. So that is a big deal, you know. Um, and the other thing is, I think the engine cover on this car is not the best, but I still think that it looks better than the one that's in the Mustang. Um, and I only mention the Mustang because people are always comparing Mustang versus Camaro or Challenger. And I think it's a good comparison and to be quite honest with you, after driving the Mustang and this, you know, very close to each other as far as in time frame, I would pick this one on looks, but I'm not sure if I would, I don't know which one I feel like is more comfortable. These seats with the leather is a lot more comfortable than what my seats are with the um, with the cloth. So the Mustang does have a little bit more leg room, but this is still pretty decent. My legs are spread out. So the one thing that I also that remains true on these cars is the steering feel. The steering feel that you get with the Camaro is so much better than the steering feel that you get with any of the standard Mustangs. In order to get more steering feel from the Mustangs, you do have to get like the performance pack or um, like a Mark 1 or GT350, GT350R. You've got to get a much higher trim. Whereas uh, in this car, even my standard Camaro with the 245s on the front and the back, you still get great steering feel. And the steering wheel on this, they're all flat bottom and they just feel pretty nice, pretty high quality to be quite honest with you. So, um, and the brakes on this, the Brambos feel great. So I'm gonna do one more pull as soon as I get back on the highway in this. And I am going to manually shift this car and see how that goes. So let's just wait for the traffic to die down and for the light to turn green. And hopefully, ah, oh, this truck's in my way. Gosh darn it.
break the wheels loose. Very easy to break the wheels loose on this. And the other thing, if you've watched other Camaros, you've probably heard this a million times, but the Camaro does have terrible blind spots. So um, you do have to keep that in mind, but this car does have blind spot monitoring, so that does help. Um, but what I would say is, if you're gonna get this and you're not gonna get a convertible, you should get one of the cars that has the blind spot monitoring, because I feel like that helps a lot. And the other thing that I would say is a necessity if you are kind of claustrophobic, get one with the sunroof because it opens up the car so much more and it makes it feel a lot less uh, like you're in a cave and it makes it more spacious. Whereas if you don't have one with the sunroof, which I've driven plenty of them, or if you've got like the convertible and the tops up like mine, then it, make, it makes it feel way more claustrophobic. So keep that in mind if you want a car that feels more spacious. And I am kind of a wide dude and I am six foot four and there's plenty of leg room in this. So there is more leg room in the Mustang, 100%, but there's plenty of leg room in this. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I do love this car. Do I wish that my Camaro was an SS? Sure. I'm satisfied with mine being an RS for now, but in the future, I could definitely see myself open the ante and get in one of these. 455 horsepower and 455 foot-pounds of torque is nothing to laugh at, even though I know a Hellcat and there's all these other cars that are faster, but this is a fast car and everybody knows that these LS and LT engines are very powerful and you can make them extremely fast with just very minimal modification. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna go ahead, put my loss and score up on the screen. Leave a comment, like the video, let me know what other cars you wanna see me drive. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.